we'll put something back in it. Trifold. Two. Welcome back and thanks for joining Ty the Gun Guy! All right, if you guys are interested in Blackbeard Fire, don't forget to use my coupon code TODD10, T-O-D-D-1-0, and get a 10% discount off your Blackbeard Fire products. All right, so there it is. There is the Tiger right there for the old Tacoma 2021 four-door. So we are, so you guys know, I've got the uh, TRD 4x4 Sport 2021 in military green. So this thing's the Tiger T3 soft tri-fold cover Tacoma, five-foot bed. These guys come in, I think, a roll-up version and I think even a hard shell. So it goes from hard shell, the most expensive, to the soft shell trifold to the actual total roll up with no frame. So this has got the aluminum frame. The top of the box is off. That's what it looks like. We get a cool bag for storage, a little soft. We'll take it out. There is some foam that you're gonna have to remove there. It is latched down. And then you're gonna have to undo your tie downs, latch downs on each side before you try to put this on your truck. All right, so step number two, once you get all your cardboard spacers out, so this does come with six individual aluminum pieces to fit into your track system. I do believe we're gonna get here and we're not gonna need all six. We're gonna go direct to our actual track and not have to use every single piece. It does come with an Allen, so you're good there because it's got a set screw to tighten it up there, so. All right, in the 2021 Toyota Tacoma, you just push, oh, and it slides, it pops right out. So be careful. But long story short, just push and slide your track out. So we're gonna to wanna to slide this in. You're gonna to wanna to make sure this hook part is facing down so it can hook underneath. Literally just slides right there. And you have a set screw that will tighten this thing up. But we're gonna slide, that's gonna be for the back hatch to tighten it down underneath. It's gonna lock in like this and pull up on it. So we're gonna repeat and do times four sides. All right, step three comes with two foam square pads right there and those are for the back side that I had showed you earlier to prevent leakage so you have a gap right here so we're going to want to put these pads right in there now what is going to keep those pads there I guess is my question because that looks like that's going to fall right out that's pretty loose no tape no nothing so what do we do there they do give you some seal with tape on the back for the long side if it's unlevel to fit, but maybe we're just going to use these since they already have tape and we'll cut pieces. So I hate to say it, I made my own, you know, I cut pieces in there and just sort of jammed them in with the tape. And uh, hopefully that's enough to keep the uh, water and snow out. Now I'm just going off a previous video, but they told me to go to the number one spot for the Tacoma 2021 move that to the number one spot and that's what we're going to do and see how it works so you're going to want a phillips to go down on the side to undo that screw before you move it over into number one okay the nut falls out the back got to get that nut out of there put that aside probably you're going to have to lift well, we can lift this up. Probably want to push a screw out this side. There we go. Here it is. See it? So you see this has a saddle right there. So all you're going to do is place that down. All you're going to do is place that back down on number, number one to line up the screw. All right, so I moved the latches to the number one spot just based off a video for the Toyota Tacoma. And we're going to flip this up. Those side goes to the back of the cab and see how it fits so never did this before but i'm thinking this should probably be smooth to this not up touching your cab but keep it smooth to the back rail here and then we're going to measure where these things set in the track right here so i don't know if that sets right in that on purpose or not let's check it out got about half a finger on the side here let's check the other side okay so it's off a little bit this side is resting out of the groove here, so we're going to have to bring it this way a little bit. We're just going to line it up and see where it looks. So literally, tri-fold. There's one right there. There's two right there. 
And of course, once we uh, get this thing strapped down, it'll straighten itself out because the, you can see there, it's tight. And we want it to be airtight. So now that you got it lined up, hop in the bed. And there's the back, of course, I'm in the bed right now. And you got your main clamp that's gonna go on the channel. And you got the red safety strap that's going to hook over to the clamp. And you got to tighten that down with your Allen. So I'll show you. All right, so I had to tighten that sucker down quite a bit to get the gap out. So you might need some of that foam up in there. And I still might up in that corner. I've got a lot of pressure on this guy here. So what we did is slid this over for the safety strap. Then you're going to want to take your Allen. You're going to want to tighten this down to be able to put the safety strap onto that hook. So we're going to tighten it and then put the safety on. So at this point, I've got it uh, buttoned down pretty tight here. Maybe I could have used some foam underneath there. It might be right around. We'll see what happens. But uh, I got both sides tight. And we're going to flip it over. There you go. We'll see how tight it looks here. In the back. I think we're doing pretty good, folks. The good part for mine, I did not have to move it to number one. It's already a number one on both sides. So this, we'll pull it down. That's going to be the back latch right there, which we're going to have to measure and then tighten with our Allen once we get it to fit. As so I could tell you 100% that I'm going to have to move my cap and get that further out so it doesn't slide out of the channel. So on my 221 Tacoma, I had to take the end caps off because it didn't line up. Be very careful not to strip the Allens because they are very easy to strip. Don't over tighten them. So about an hour, that's it. That's the fit and finish right there, folks. Nice and tight on the back. Let's close it up. What do you think, Jack? Is that a little loose? She says that's a little loose or no? I don't know. I could tighten this down in here a little bit for sure, but I like that. That's okay. Got to have a little bit of play, but form fit and function just like our other tools that we use of course that i can't say but that's tight I'm sure it's going to stretch she wants to know how to open it my wife does so come and look jack you lift up can't see but you lift up on these latch you pull down pull down and pull away see how it comes off the thing lift up pull down and away and you go like this to try for. Hold on. And these actually come flat. I want to make sure you lay those flat, folks. That's one thing. You will have a tear in your thing. So you want to lay that flat. So those are nice and flat out of the way. And then you go one more time. So that is a try fold. Now what you do here is you take the straps, you hook them in, you tighten it down so it doesn't flop around. I'm going to put something back in it, try fold, two, pull that handle out, down, into place. That's it. Let's see how it locks in the bag. Not a problem. Yeah. We got a little bit of rub here, a little bit, maybe it's a little too tight in the back, but that's tight. You can hear the seal. Listen. Hear it? That's what it's can supposed to do. Listen. Yeah. That's well, you don't want any rain in there. That's what no it's supposed rain. to do. What do you think? Wonderful. Stamp of oh, approval from Jackie. I got a stamp of approval, better gas mileage, tight, and for under 300 bucks. I don't think you could beat this thing. I really don't. Stay safe, stay vigilant, and until next time, tie the gun guys!